Okay, my name is Richard Clayton and my main research interest is in cardiac arrhythmias and these are disorders of the heart's normal rhythm um, which can in extreme cases lead to sudden cardiac death. You might wonder why an academic in computer science is interested in the heart, um, so I'll tell you a little bit about my background and biography uh, so far. I have a degree in applied physics and after that I worked for 12 years in the NHS, the, the UK National Health Service, so I was based in hospitals um, doing research, all of which was to do with the heart, uh, but all of which um, involved my, my physics, so data analysis, data processing, uh, and the data acquisition, that kind of thing. Following that I moved to the University of Leeds, uh, funded by the British Heart Foundation, um, to find out more about modelling uh, the heart, because uh, there comes a point when you're uh, doing experiments on patients where there are clearly and quite rightly ethical boundaries that you can't cross. Um, and of course with a computer model you can do things that would be unthinkable um, in a patient. Every time your heart beats there's a wave of electrical excitation that starts in the heart's natural pacemaker which um, produces an electrical signal about once every second um, and spreads through the heart. And what that electrical signal does is it triggers uh, the heart muscle to contract. Um, so it initiates and synchronizes contraction. What happens during a, an abnormal heart rhythm is usually um, a disorder either in the formation of that electrical impulse uh, or in the way it propagates through the tissue. Um, and that's particularly a problem when part of the heart is diseased. Um, so what we do in our computer models is um, we represent uh, each cell in the, in the heart uh, as a system of equations that describes this electrical activity. Um, and we also represent how that electrical activity propagates from one cell to another. We then go on to validate and uh, illuminate some of this modelling with uh, experiments that we've been able to do on, on patients who are undergoing heart surgery, uh, where their heart and lungs are supported by a heart lung machine. Uh, but we're able to collect data on the electrical activity on the surface of the heart from these patients as well.